Reverend Insanity. Chapter 541, Four-Arm Earth King, very soon, Hai Lulan and the rest started to feel a pressure as heavy as a mountain. Not good, the enemy has gone crazy, we won't be able to hold on for long. Black Banner troops, come over to reinforce us quick. Pei Yan Fei, Zhang Fei Yu, Tang Mao Ming, you guys also come over to protect Wolf King. We cannot continue to defend passively like this, we need to take the initiative to attack. Otherwise, the residual force of the battle will still endanger Wolf King. Ma Tribe was absolutely not resigned to losing. If they lost, they would be completely finished. They began to stake their lives, the heavy rewards alluring them to brave dangers. The situation quickly escaped out of Hai Lu Lan's control and the battlefield soon changed into attacking and defending Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan's safety and danger directly concerned the result of this battle. The enemy rank 4 Gu Masters and rank 5 Gu Masters all rushed over, creating a huge chaotic scene. This was a majestic spectacle that was rarely seen in the former imperial court contests. In the battle rings, rank 4 Gu Masters were already reduced to a supporting role. Even rank 5 experts could not act freely and were in a risky situation. Hai Lulan, Yi Liu Sang and others had still been paying some attention to Wolf King at first. But soon they were finding it difficult to protect themselves, surrounding them were flames, ice and snow, sound waves and all sorts of attacks that flew chaotically among the battle rings. The enemy did not remain in a fixed place, fighting anyone they met. There were times they even attacked their own people. The number one assassin Wu Ming stood at a distant, helplessly looking at the giant chaotic battle ring. He was an assassin, an expert at getting close while hiding before striking the fatal attack. But right now, the battleground had become so chaotic with all Gu masters attacking madly, all kinds of investigative Gu worms scanning around, and Gu masters killing anybody they came across. The situation was already out of control, the offense too overwhelming, and some rank 4 Gu masters had already become hysterical to protect themselves. Wu Ming was doubtful. If he entered stealthily, he might be discovered within a few breaths of time. It might even be his own people who might attack him in the heat of the moment. Even if I don't make a move, Wolf King will find it hard to keep his life in such a situation. Wu Ming smiled coldly and kept on watching the show. Soon, his eyes brightened and saw a rank 4 Gu master of his side moving towards Wolf King from the side. Cheng Hu, when he saw the person clearly, Wu Ming almost shouted in excitement. Someone had struck Cheng Hu from behind and sent him flying towards Fang Yuan. Previously, Fang Yuan had Bian Sik Xuan guarding him from the side. But just moments ago, Bian Sik Xuan had taken the initiative to draw away the encroaching Fei Sheng Cheng. She was not a defensive Gu master and also did not have any intention to sacrifice her life for Fang Yuan. Thus she felt that was the most sensible choice. Which scoundrel sneak attacked me? Cheng Hu fell on the ground and immediately stood up, furiously roaring before turning around and charging towards the direction he came from. This... Wu Ming did not know what to say at this scene. However, Cheng who had only walked five, six steps when suddenly he seemed to have been struck by a body immobilization spell as he stopped on the spot. He furiously turned around and rigidly stared at Fang Yuan who was within his reach. After few breaths of being dazed, he finally came back to his senses. The guys who sneak attacked me, I really love you, ha ha ha. Cheng Hu's pores opened up in excitement and looked at Fang Yuan like he was looking at five million battle merits and endless fame and fortune. GRRR! He pounced forward, his limbs instantly transformed into a gorgeous tiger the moment he landed. Transformation path killer move. Slant, I tiger roared, a reeking wind pounced towards Fang Yuan. Damn it! Hide quickly! Bai and Si Xuan glanced back and involuntarily screamed. Success! Wu Ming felt his blood pumping and his body shivering with excitement. The tiger opened its bloody mouth, leaped to the air and pounced down. The huge shadow shrouded over Fang Yuan's face. The tiger's sharp teeth was almost closing at his head. I had not thought such a heaven-shaking contribution will fall to my hands, huh? 
The tiger's eyes suddenly flashed with a shocked look. A pair of large hands grabbed the tiger's neck, immobilizing it. HMPH, Cheng Hu snorted inwardly. His many years of battle experience and insight allowed him to quickly slash with his two sharp claws. Thud. A muffled sound echoed. The next moment, the two tiger claws were separately grabbed by two metallic hands. Where did these hands come from? Cheng Hu gazed with bewilderment and saw Fang Yuan's cold gaze and tranquil as ice face and two bronze arms that had grown from his sides since some unknown time ago. The two bronze hands firmly grabbed Cheng Hu's tiger claws. HMPH, Cheng Hu snorted and immediately used his tail as well. The tail lashed through the air, forming a fierce whip shadow that was agile and tricky as it smashed towards Fang Yuan's head. Flam, a clear sound echoed. There was not the slightest of injuries on Fang Yuan's head, but instead it was the tiger tail that had turned numb from the pain and lost its control. Cheng who had a killer move, Fang Yuan similarly possessed a killer move. Killer move for Arm Earth King. There were no less than 14 goo worms used for this killer move, including rank 5 Amplify Effect Goo. In such a state, Fang Yuan's defense had increased by over four times, his strength reaching 800 Jun. Moreover, when he was touching the ground, his strength would keep on increasing without end. Have you played enough? Fang Yuan gave a cold smile, looking calmly at Cheng Hu, his gaze carrying a ridiculing and cold intent. An intense coldness rose from Cheng Hu's heart before quickly spreading over his whole body. Fear, even if Cheng Hu was usually carefree and took his bravery as an honor. Right now as he looked at Fang Yuan's dark and cold eyes, he felt fear. The intense fear caused him to erupt with strength. The tiger moved its throat, preparing a sound wave attack. However, at this moment, Fang Yuan gave a soft sigh. Such a boring trick, sigh, it is better for you to die. His voice was tranquil and light, as if he was talking of an insignificant thing. PSHHH, the next moment, the bronze hands exerted strength and pulled. The gorgeous tiger was ripped into two halves, fresh blood splattered and internal organs fell down to the ground. Two irregular tiger part fell down to the ground and transformed back to two halves of a human. And the tiger head turned back to Cheng Hu's head. His eyes were wide open in fear, completely revealing the fear of death. Fang Yuan grabbed Cheng Hu's skull and slowly raised his head, his gaze traversing through everyone and landed on Yang Po Ying. The hair all over Yang Po Ying's body stood on their end, an intense sense of danger was rising in his heart. Fang Yuan flapped his eagle wings and flew to the sky. Yang Po Ying's pupils shrunk, immediately mobilizing the Thunder Eagle group to protect him. Fang Yuan smiled in disdain. Do you think you can block me with just these beasts with rank 4 battle strength? He <laughs> he. Bam bam bam. He directly charged straight ahead. The Thunder Eagles in his way were forcefully smashed into pieces. By the time the Goo Masters in the chaotic battlefield reacted, Fang Yuan had already charged through the Thunder Eagle group like a hot knife cutting through butter and reached Yang Po Ying. Phew! Yang Po Ying's face lost all blood as he looked at Fang Yuan with extreme fear. Fang Yuan lifted him by his head, his whole body not even able to resist the slightest bit. Fang Yuan lightly clenched his hand. Crack! Fang Yuan burst Eagle King Yang Po Ying's head as easily as bursting a watermelon. Blood and brain matter splattered, and the Eagle Group instantly crumbled apart. The Eagle Group flew away back to the sunny sky. The enormous commotion attracted countless people. What? Wolf King personally killed Eagle King? A lot of people shouted incredulously at this sight. Now it is your turn. Fang Yuan did not stop, his cold gaze landing on Ma Zun. They were separated by 10,000 steps of distance, and he was protected by the majestic horse group, but Ma Zun still felt a terror as if a calamity was descending upon him. Block him. Kill Wolf King. Wu Yi and Roman Eleven Zhu flew together, and Pincer attacked Fang Yuan. A bunch of trash wants to block me? 
Fang Yuan snorted in disdain, he flapped his two wings and easily shook away Roman Eleven Zhu, directly charging towards Wu Yi. This, Wu Yi had never expected Fang Yuan to be so violent. He overestimated his own defense while also underestimating Fang Yuan's fierce offensive. The defensive light barrier only held for half a breath of time before collapsing apart. Wu Yi immediately sensed danger and with his master level flying skill, he was able to make a dodging movement which others simply could not do. If it were others, they might only be able to let him escape, but Fang Yuan was similarly a flying master. Bang! A dull sound echoed, half of Wu Yi's body was smashed into paste with bones fracturing into pieces and internal organs of half his body bursting apart. His eyes were wide open as he fell down from the sky. A generation's flying master, a daimonic path expert, had perished. Fang Yuan moved on towards Ma Zun without even glancing at Wu Yi. Roar. A dragon roar echoed like a thunder, and an enormous dragon blocked Fang Yuan's way. This giant dragon had golden horn, three claws and dragon eyes which were burning like lanterns, revealing the flames of revenge. Chang Shan Yin, you dared to kill my younger brother, you shall pay the most bitter price for this. This person was a rank 5 expert of transformation path, Chang Hu's big brother Chang Long, noisy earthworm. Fang Yuan snorted and increased his speed, leaving behind an afterimage in the air as he fiercely smashed into the giant dragon. Boom! The explosive sound of the collision was deafening. The sound wave spread to all directions, resounding through the sky and earth. Hearts trembled as countless gazes fixed at the distant, looking at Fang Yuan whose body had inflated by two times and was covered in a bronze luster, his forearms thicker than a grown man's thighs. He stood proudly in the air, grabbing a broken dragon horn. While the three-clawed golden giant dragon fell down to the ground like a puppet with its strings cut, it fiercely smashed into the ground, creating a giant pit with dragon blood and dragon scales splattering all around. What? Ma Shang Feng's pupils rapidly shrunk as he blurted out involuntarily, not daring to believe the reality. Even Chang Long could not take one move from him. This killer move, Hai Lu Lan absentmindedly looked at Fang Yuan, seeing the reflection of Liu Tribe's three brothers three heads six arms killer move. Ma Zun, I, Wolf King, will take your life. Fang Yuan lightly said, his voice traveling across the battlefield, his calm tone was like he was once again speaking of insignificant matter. But to everyone else, his words had a feeling of being unrivaled. Uncle Ma Zun, leave quickly. I will block him. Ma Tribe's young tribe leader Ma Ying Jai shouted from Ma Zun's side. The other Gu Master Guards also started persuading, Wolf King is very fierce, we cannot face him head on. Lord and young tribe leader, please leave, we will hold him back. Chapter 542 Duel Cultivating Two Paths People all around Ma Zun kept on persuading strongly. Ma Zun's expression was ashen as he resolutely refused. No, my Ma tribe only has warriors who will fight to death, not cowards who will run away. I am a symbol of Ma tribe. It will be a heavy impact to our army's morale if I run away. I cannot leave, we have yet to lose, I still have my Pegasus group. With a shift of his mind, the Pegasus flew into the air like clouds. These grand beasts had snow-white fur, their mane fluttered in the wind as they unfolded their pure white wings. These Pegasus were Ma tribe's pride. A grand feeling emerged in Ma tribesmen's hearts as they looked at these Pegasus, the feelings of fear quickly calmed down. Right, we still have Pegasus. Ah, Ma Ying Jai was speaking, when suddenly he exclaimed in shock and terror. Fang Yuan was shooting towards them like a meteor, fiercely crashing through the Pegasus group without any intent to dodge. The Pegasus which had rank 4 battle strength were smashed through, their blood spurting high. The horse group neighed in panic, their pure white feathers helplessly drifted in the air as their corpse fell down to the ground. Fang Yuan moved straight through Pegasus' group and reached above Ma Zun and the group with none able to block him. 
Mazan was stunned. The Gu masters beside opened their mouth wide as they looked at Fang Yuan, their heart filled with extreme shock, helplessness, and fear. Fang Yuan's ghostly figure deeply imprinted itself in the depths of their heart, never to be forgotten. No, I have not lost yet. Ma Zun freaked out and was about to use his killer move when he was blocked by Ma Ying Jai. Uncle, let me do it. Once you use this killer move, your cultivation will fall. Ma tribe can lose me, but it can never lose you, Ma Ying Jai shouted, his gaze filled with determination. Ying Jai, Ma Zun's body shook, he looked at this junior whom he appreciated and was most hopeful about and felt his will to fight to the death. Ma Zun did not want his nephew to sacrifice for him. But just like Ma Ying Jai said, Ma tribe could lose Ma Ying Jai, but it needed him, Ma Zun, to command horse group. The eagle group had crumbled apart now and the rat group could not be counted on if they lose the horse group as well. Ma tribe's defeat will be certain. Also, my death is not certain. Uncle, leave quickly. Ma Ying Jai turned solemn, mobilizing his primeval essence into several goo worms. Killer move Dragon Horse Spirit. This was a killer move that was specially prepared for them by Snowy Mountain's demonic path, Gu Immortal Zhu Song Zai. Nay Nay. Many horses beside Ma Ying Jai raised their front legs and gave desperate and crazy neighs. Large amount of blood seeped out of their body. They fell down one after another as they lost their life. But at the same time, diverse and gorgeous horse souls resembling rainbows pierced out of the corpses. Mutated horse souls, Fang Yuan's pupils slightly shrunk. Normal souls were simply impossible to be detected by ordinary people. But these horse souls had a pair of coral-like dragon horns on their head and were also of every size, as if they were alive, and they also shone with all kinds of colors, only the blind would not be able to see them. Dragon horses floated up and charged towards Fang Yuan in a very fast speed. Fang Yuan flew away, pulling apart some distance while also making probing attacks. These horse souls were troublesome because they were souls. Ordinary physical attacks had no effect on them. At the same time, their self-destruction had the power equal to the soul explosion of the previous shark Finn Wolf. Fang Yuan's killer move was strong, but it was not a soul path killer move. If three horse souls self-destructed at the same time, he would not be able to endure it. After all, his soul cultivation was still a thousand man soul. But why would I face you head on? Fang Yuan scoffed and slowly landed on the ground. He was not simply a pure strength path Gu Master, he still had enslavement path methods. Next moment, wolf smoke surged and healed the wolves beside him. Wolf howl resounded raising the wolves' battle strength by several times. The wolves then charged towards Ma Ying Jai and Ma Zun like hungry sharks. Damn it! Ma Ying Jai immediately experienced Fang Yuan's insidiousness and unscrupulousness. He had sacrificed large numbers of horses beside him to form into mutated horse souls for the killer move Dragon Horse Spirit. But Fang Yuan did not face his horse souls, instead sending his wolf group to death. The wolves used their lives to wear down the horse soul's strength, and the mutated horse souls started becoming dimmer as they defended against the wolf group's fierce attacks, some dispersed and some self-destructed. Large numbers of wolves died in exchange for a sharp reduction of the horse souls. Fang Yuan was displaying the essence of the enslavement path to the extreme. Enslavement path, Gu masters used cannon fodder to exhaust the enemy's precious strength. For example, consuming their primeval essence, and right now, it was to perish along with the horse souls. Ma Ying Jai could do nothing to Fang Yuan. Mutated horse souls were strong, but after slaughtering so many wolves in such a short period of time, they were now powerless to be of any threat to Fang Yuan. Uncle, leave. You are our Ma tribe's hope. Leave quickly, Ma Ying Jai shouted, persuading Ma Zun to leave again. Ma Zun's cheeks streamed with tears, his heart filled with pain, hatred, anger, and hesitation. He gritted his teeth to the point of almost breaking them, 
but in the end, under the urging of his rationality, he slowly moved his body and led a group of horses, leaving Ma Ying Jai and retreating towards Ma tribe camp. Hmm. Fang Yuan immediately sensed Ma Zun's movement. Ma Zun was an enslavement path master, hundred times more significant than Ma Ying Jai. Fang Yuan immediately flapped his wings and flew to the sky. He gave up on Ma Ying Jai and began to chase Ma Zun. Wolf King, don't leave. Ma Ying Jai hurriedly mobilized horse souls to fly into the sky to intercept Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan coldly smiled in disdain and made an exquisite turn in the air, throwing all the horse souls behind him. He was a flying master, while these mutated horse souls were no more than Ma Ying Jai's puppets. Looking at Fang Yuan rushing towards them with killing intent, the Gu Master guards beside Ma Zun immediately became fearful. With no choice, Ma Zun also used the killer move, Dragon Horse Spirit, under his control, mutated horse souls formed into a tight defense line. Their might was much more than what Ma Ying Jai showed. Even if Fang Yuan had flying master achievement, it would be difficult for him to break through. Roar? A dragon roar resonated at this moment. An enormous shadow shrouded over Fang Yuan. The three-clawed, golden-horned giant dragon once again charged at Fang Yuan. Chang Long had been defeated in one move by Fang Yuan and had fallen down to the ground miserably. He had barely crawled out of the hole when he was attacked by several enemies, and after spending all his strength to thwart and beat away these obstacles, he chased after Fang Yuan in rage to take revenge. You actually came to send yourself to death. Fang Yuan coldly smiled, not in the least moved as he looked at the dragon claws that were rapidly approaching him with an invincible might. The eagle wings on his back flapped, and he easily brushed past the dragon claws. Relying on his exquisite flying skill, he made the giant dragon go circles around him. Not good, I am not Wolf King's match in the air. Cheng Long soon realized his disadvantage, but it was already late. Fang Yuan grabbed this gap to fly to the dragon head. His two bronze arms ruthlessly pounded on the, the two eyes of the giant dragon like a battle spear or a sharp sword. The dragon eyes burst and blood splashed in all directions. The giant dragon immediately went mad, roaring miserably due to the intense pain. Fang Yuan was splashed all over with scarlet blood, but he did not stop, he gave a sinister smile and continued piercing deep into the eyes with his two hands, directly attacking the brain membrane, while his other two hands smashed at the dragon head like a heavy hammer. Bang bang bang! Huge sounds echoed out again and again as Fang Yuan continued to hammer at the dragon head like pounding on a war drum. The giant dragon started falling down, it struggled with mad fervor and its long tail twisted into a braid. Stones and mud flew and the dragon tail lashed out, sending both humans and beasts flying. Fang Yuan did not stop his attack, he continued to pound for twenty to thirty times, and was finally satisfied when the dragon head was thoroughly smashed into pieces. White brain matter and blood spurted upon his whole body. He took a deep breath, the intense odor of blood instead making him feel satisfied. Especially when he looked silently at this giant dragon corpse that he had conquered. Man, no matter which world they live in, all lives to conquer, Conquer the enemy, conquer themselves, Fang Yuan sighed with emotion. Although the dragon had already died, the dragon corpse had not transformed back, one could see how profound Chang Long's achievement in transformation path was. His head was quite tough, but he was no more than an impulsive fool. Fang Yuan lightly commented before looking towards Ma Zun again. He, he even killed Cheng Long. Is this still Wolf King? Wasn't he an enslavement path master? The scene of Fang Yuan stepping on the corpse shocked many. Most of them simply did not dare to believe their own eyes. How could Wolf King change from an enslavement path master into such a fierce warrior that rampaged in the battlefield? Meanwhile, the wolf group howled and charged waves after waves without any pause, showing Fang Yuan's exquisite beast controlling skill. 
Ma Zun's face was pale, his primeval essence was gradually exhausted as he kept on maintaining the killer move, Dragon Horse Spirit. The mutated horse souls had formed a tight defensive battle formation, the wolf group throwing their lives as they charged forward waves after waves. Fang Yuan remained unmoved at these sacrifices, only sneering inwardly. Now, let me show you the true power of dual cultivation in enslavement and strength path. With a shift of his mind, the wolf group immediately changed their offensive pattern, dividing into several groups and breaking forward like sharp cones. The mutated soul's battle formation was unavoidably pulled apart. As the defensive line became thinly spread, Fang Yuan took the initiative to launch an assault. Ma Zun felt a chill in his heart and promptly maneuvered the mutated horse souls to intercept Fang Yuan, but this caused the defensive line to turn chaotic. Fang Yuan laughed and changed the direction of his assault while making the wolf group charge ahead by 300 steps. Ma Zun blocked left and right, soon being unable to hold off the attacks. If he guarded against Fang Yuan's assault, the wolf group would be free to charge forward. If he defend against the wolf group, he would not be able to guard against Fang Yuan. After several rounds, Fang Yuan saw a gap and fiercely charged towards Ma Zun. The first strike broke Ma Zun's defensive barrier, the second punch seriously injured Ma Zun, and the third punch killed this famous enslavement path master. Ma Zun died. The horse group crumbled apart and Ma tribe's army's morale lowered to the abyss. If I had not seen it personally, I would never have believed this. Horse King actually died by enslavement path, Master Wolf King's beheading the leader tactic. Wolf King concealed himself too deeply, he actually cultivated both enslavement and strength path. He simply does not need to fear beheading the leader tactics, how can we deal with such an enslavement path master? Chapter 543, Victory Has Been Decided The terrifying strength Fang Yuan displayed inflicted heavy pressure on everyone in Ma tribe army. Despair was quickly spreading in their heart. Now, we can only rely on Rat King, only the Rat group can contend against the Wolf group. Ma Shang Fong's face was ashen. Ma Zun's death made him feel like he had fallen into an ice cave. But he was Ma tribe leader, and under this desperation, he looked towards Zhang Bao Ye's direction. However, the next moment, the only hope left in Ma Shang Feng's eyes was also obliterated. Rat King had actually fled. Heavens, this Wolf King is a monster. Eagle King, Horse King, Cheng Long, Cheng Hu, and Wu Yi were all killed by him. Will I be able to survive if I don't run away now? Blood flowed out of all seven facial orifices of Zhang Bao Ya as he ran away. He could not do anything about this, he had sworn the poison vow when he joined Ma tribe army. Now that he was deserting in the battle, he naturally suffered the backlash of the poison vow. But Zhang Bao Ya wanted to retreat, even if he had to risk the backlash. Fang Yuan's terrifying performance had already completely obliterated all will to battle in his heart. Rat King, return right now, Ma Shang Feng shouted. But Zhang Bao Ya ignored him and ran madly. The blood from his seven facial orifices was dyeing the path, showing his determination to run. His fleeing attracted the people around him and soon, a large number of Ma tribe Gu masters began to retreat with large number of tribes gathering their forces as they retreated from the battlefield. One really shouldn't rely on outsiders, Ma Shang Feng spurted out a large mouthful of blood before he blacked out and fainted. Ma tribe army was utterly crushed, the situation was set. Despite having the snowman elite troops, they could not turn around the situation. Gu master experts also started to retreat one after another. I almost had to break my seal and use my true martial physique to fight. Luckily, luckily, in a battle ring, Hai Lu Lan who had been attacked from all around was gasping, his body full of injuries and his primeval essence heavily depleted, but the ominous glint in his eyes was becoming colder and sharper. Under his order, High Tribe Army began a ruthless hunt. The more they killed, the more battle merits they would obtain. Even a fool understood this. Fame and fortune incited High Tribe Army to be like brutal famished wolves. 
At first, the elite troops were covering Ma tribe's retreat, but soon High tribe's elite troops rushed to them and pinned them down. Ma tribe army had thoroughly collapsed and countless people were escaping to all directions. Fang Yuan did not move, instead calling the wolf group to protect him. Heavy internal bleeding, Soul has been weakened to 500-man Soul. Fang Yuan inspected his body, swallowing the blood in his mouth as waves after waves of dizziness attacked him. His two bronze arms quietly disappeared. The repercussions of forearm Earth King Killer move was much more serious than what he had expected. The several experiments before only scratched the surface. Now that I used it to its extreme, even going beyond the theorized time limit, a problem has occurred. Sure enough, genuine knowledge comes from practice. Killer move was an exquisite coordination between goo worms, but a killer move was not perfected by just planning it. Only by putting it into practice and revising it continuously could the killer move be perfected, and this process to perfect it could last a very long time lasting generations and even over ten generations of continuous deductions and adjustments. Forearm Earth King was a result of Fang Yuan using his 500 years of experience along with a moment of inspiration. It was made in a hurry and was still in experimental phase. Fang Yuan was soon able to understand what caused such heavy repercussions. It is the rank 5 Earth Overlord Gu. This killer move was originally based on ground fight, the longer one is touching the ground, the lighter the repercussions. But I was flying almost all the time in this battle. Thus, this problem was exposed. It seems Forearm Earth King Killer Move has a lot of shortcomings. From this battle, I can see flying is much more convenient than charging Crash Goo and possesses much higher threat to enemies. Since I have master level attainment in flying, I should make full use of this superiority. He was not willing to give up flying, so the forearm Earth King Killer move had to be greatly altered. Fang Yuan sat on the aged Night Wolf Emperor, quietly pondering while looking at the wanton slaughtering by High Tribe Army. Damn it, still vigilant, not giving me even a little chance. Assassin Wu Ming was hiding in a distant while observing Fang Yuan. He had been thinking of taking advantage of Wolf King's negligence after the battles to sneak attack him. If he succeeded and killed Wolf King, Ma Tribe would still have a chance to regroup and make a comeback. But Fang Yuan did not give him any opportunity, almost as if he saw through his plan. Wu Ming waited for a while more, but because of High Tribe experts moving about more frequently nearby, he could not endure any more and quietly retreated. Ma Tribe was fleeing in defeat, and while they were fleeing, Ma Tribe leader Ma Shang Feng woke up. He was still not resigned, and after they fled to the defense line, he tried to hold on by relying on the defense line. But Tai Bai Yun Shang's mountain as before Gu wrecked his plan. High tribe army broke through the defense line, Pan Ping used his soul blade Gu and luckily managed to get Ma Shang Feng's head in the chaotic battle. With Ma tribe leader's death, Ma tribesmen no longer had the will to battle. Tao tribe, Yang tribe and Kai Lion tribe surrendered one after another. The surrendering process unavoidably attracted most of High tribe's attention. Move faster, faster, faster. Zhao Lion Yun was urging from inside the carriage. Fei Kai was taking the coachman position and used all his strength to lash at the horse. The carriage's two wheels moved at a rapid speed. Fei Kai was Ma Ying Jai's head servant and being in charge of Ma tribe's young tribe leader's everyday life, he naturally had to accompany Ma Ying Jai to the battle. Zhao Lian Yun was homeless and so could only follow behind him. Ma tribe was defeated, these two and other mortals also fled for their lives. However, just relying on the horsepower, the carriage speed simply could not surpass a Gu Master. While they escaped, they were thrown far behind by Gu Masters. But because Fei Kai and Zhao Lian Yun were mortals, the army chasing after Ma Tribe Army let them go. The battle merits in killing mortals were next to nothing. 
Of course, if they encountered goo masters in a bad mood, or those who liked to kill or wolves who did not care if they were mortals, just one or two casual moves from either of these could send them to their grave. However, Fei Kai and Zhao Lian Yun's luck were really good, not only did they not encounter such situation, they were actually able to smoothly escape out of the battlefield under countless Gu Master's eyes. The two put in all their efforts in escaping. The old horse pulling the carriage foamed in exhaustion and finally fell on the grassland. The carriage overturned soon after and broke apart. Fei Kai and Zhao Lian Yun broke out of the broken carriage in a miserable state. Although they were injured, it was not serious because of the soft grassland. Now where should we go? Fei Kai was indecisive. They were in a vast land without any soldiers or Gu masters chasing them. Zhao Lian Yun panted heavily without replying. She was also feeling flustered and helpless. Wolf King Chang Shan Yin, there is actually such a terrifying monster in this world. Damn it, if I had known you were this fierce, why would I persuade father to travel so far to side with Ma Tribe? As she thought of Fang Yuan's terrifying figure rampaging in the midst of innumerable troops, Zhao Lian Yun's body and mind trembled. Remembering her father who had died in the battlefield, their current homeless situation and the ruthlessness of fate, Zhao Lian Yun began to weep in grief. Zio Yun, don't cry, don't cry, don't worry, I am still here. Fei Kai immediately comforted her. Zhao Lian Yun buried her head in her knees and cried even louder. Fei Kai panicked as he comforted and apologizes repeatedly, cutting out a very clumsy figure. Zhao Lian Yun cried for a while, then suddenly raised her head. What's the use of your apology? I am really miserable. How could I come to such a world? Now our situation is desperate with nothing to eat or even drink. At night, the bloody odor on the battlefield will attract groups after groups of beasts to forage. Sooner or later, we will starve to death, die of thirst, or even freeze to death. Eh? Then, then what should we do? Fei Kai looked at Zhao Lian Yun with an expression that was seeking help. Zhao Lian Yun rolled her eyes and furiously shouted, You are really trash. You are older than me. Can't you think of something? You want me to think of everything. Do you think I am Dong Fang Yu Liang? Fei Kai lowered his head after being scolded, only daring to look at his feet. Suddenly, he raised his head with bright eyes. I, I have thought of a good way. Ah? What way? Zhao Lian Yun raised her brows in amazement. This fool had actually thought of a way? I feel that as long as we have a horse, we can escape far away from the battlefield. With no odor of blood, we will be able to avoid the beasts. Zhao Lian Yun fiercely kicked Fei Kai. Do you think I don't know? You fool, you big idiot, what good method is this? I also want a horse, where will you get me one? Fei Kai jumped in pain from Zhao Lian Yun's kick. Suddenly, he pointed ahead and shouted, Look, there is a horse. Zhao Lian Yun turned around to look and was stupefied, blurting out, The fuck, there really is a horse. But she quickly reacted. There are no lack of horses in northern plains, but what we lack is the method to capture and tame it. Fei Kai, do you have any method? Fei Kai exclaimed, his hand still pointing ahead as he shouted, Look, there is a person on the horse. Zhao Lian Yun concentrated, there really was a person. As the horse neared the two, Zhao Lian Yun's eyes suddenly opened wide because of the identity of the injured person on the horse's back, Ma Ying Jai. Congratulations brother, congratulations. High Tribe has won this battle, even if Ma Tribe gets support from Gu Immortals, they cannot reverse the situation. Hai Bai, who had been observing the battle all along, saw High Tribe was already beginning to clear up the battlefield through investigative Gu, and impatiently congratulated Hai Cheng who was beside him. Hai Cheng lightly smiled. Congratulations to you too. Hai Lulan, this kid did not betray our expectations. Ah right, the demonic path Gu Immortal who supported Ma Tribe has been discovered, it is Zhu Song's eye of Snowy Mountain's sixth peak. Hai Bai's expression immediately turned heavy. HMPH, so it was him. 
If not for him meddling and fighting with me over wooden chicken goo, the immortal goo would not have escaped the bindings, and I would have already been in possession of wooden chicken goo. Hai Cheng comforted him with a smile. Brother, no need to worry, it will be the same thing if we can obtain wooden chicken goo with the help of 88 True Yang building. This is called, the road to happiness is strewn with setbacks. Once you obtain wooden chicken goo, you will become an expert among goo immortals immediately. I don't deserve such praise. Hai Bai immediately bowed at Hai Cheng and sincerely said, if not for elder brother's generous help, how could I have such financial ability like Zhu Song Zai? Elder brother is really wise and far-sighted. Investing so much immortal essence stones, it was an amazing decision. As expected, stocking up the wolf groups before sending them out for support all at once truly caught Zhu Song Zai unprepared. This time, even if Zhu Song Zai wants to continue sending help, there is no one to receive it. Ha ha ha! Hai Cheng laughed brightly before sighing, without investment, how could there be profits? He paused a moment and continued. Also, we were fortunate that other famous super tribes did not really make their move in this imperial court contest. There was also the information from Fairy Tan Baiya which allowed us to know of the secret relationship between Ma Tribe and Snowy Mountain. Another point, this Wolf King Chang Shan Yin is truly a spectacular junior. His performance was outstanding, the one with the most radiance in this contest, such that his brilliance surpasses this generation's goo masters in northern plains. Hai Bai also nodded, having the same feeling. I have already investigated Chang Shan Yin in detail, he is a person of Chang tribe and was very famous, even us goo immortals knew of him. Later, he mysteriously disappeared for over ten years, he clearly had a fortuitous encounter. Now he cultivates both enslavement and strength path, I saw the killer move he used just before, its repercussions are not small, but it is indeed somewhat interesting. Fang Yuan could conceal his injuries from the surrounding people, but he could not conceal it from Gu Immortals. Hai Cheng was silent for a while before speaking. This is a Gu Immortal seed, I plan to take him into Hai Tribe. After he enters Imperial Court Blessed Land, we will properly observe him. If he is willing to join us and offer his loyalty, he might be able to become our High Tribe's external Supreme Elder in the future. Hai Bai smiled. The difficulty of ascending to Gu Immortal Realm is unspeakable, Elder Brother truly thinks highly of him. In my opinion, Tai Bai Yun Sheng is also quite good, we can also ask him to join High Tribe. Mm, but he is a little old. Hai Cheng nodded. In these Gu Immortals' eyes, only Chang Shan Yin and Tai Bai Yun Sheng piqued their interest and gained their attention among the entire Hai Tribe Alliance army. Chapter 544 Entrapping a Gu Immortal? When Ma Ying Jai finally woke up, his first sight was Fei Kai's joyous, smiling face. Fei Kai shouted, Young tribe leader, you are finally awake. The simple and honest voice warmed Ma Ying Jai's heart. He struggled to sit upright, but the intense pain caused him to grimace and froth started to bubble from his mouth. He was barely able to ask, Where is this place? Fei Kai scratched his head and said in shame, I also don't know where this is, but we should have escaped the battlefield. Battlefield? Ma Ying Jai suddenly started and immediately asked, The battle, what happened? We lost, Lord Young tribe leader. Many people escaped and even more people surrendered. Fei Kai answered. Ma Ying Jai's face turned pale white and his body shook, almost fainting down, but luckily Fei Kai was supporting his back. Zhao Lian Yun stood at the side, looking at this formerly radiant Ma tribe Young tribe leader who had now fallen into such a miserable state, it left a bad taste in her mouth. Thai, this Ma Ying Jai is young and promising. It is a pity he ran into Wolf King Chang Shan Yin. It was not that you didn't try hard enough, but that the enemy was too much of a monster. Ma Ying Jai closed his eyes, two streams of tears quietly falling down. After a while, he opened his reddened eyes and looked at Fei Kai and Zhao Lian Yun, asking in a hoarse voice, Did you guys save me? 
Fei Kai and Zhao Lian Yun nodded. Young tribe leader, what do we do now? Fei Kai asked. Ma Ying Jai said with a gloomy expression, We will return. This battle is our Ma tribe's defeat, but we still have some tribesmen remaining behind in Warm Pond Valley. Back then, before Heroes' Assembly, Ma Tribe schemed and brought about internal disorder in Fei Tribe before swallowing Fei Tribe and occupying Warm Pond Valley. Ma Tribe's higher-ups, to be prepared for the unexpected, left behind the old, weak, sick, and crippled behind at Warm Pond Valley. If Ma Tribe won, they would take these people back. But if Ma Tribe lost, these people would be the seeds to continue the tribe's bloodline. Return to Warm Pond Valley, but we don't have water and also don't have any rations. To travel such a long distance, Zhao Lian Yun's brows furrowed into a knot. Pa little girl, as long as I am here, there will be sufficient water and food. You guys don't need to worry. Ma Ying Jai replied. The three started their journey, coming across many Ma tribesmen who had fled. Ma Ying Jai took all of them in. Lord Young Tribe Leader, I had not thought that I, Ma Yuliang, would still live to see you. When Ma Yuliang saw Ma Ying Jai, he immediately said this in a sobbing voice. He was Ma Tribe's rank three elder and was lying on a stretcher now. He had lost an arm and his right leg was fractured. His injuries were severe. When Ma Ying Jai saw Ma Yuliang, tears involuntarily welled up in his eyes, Elder Ma Yuliang, it really is good to see you. Although he had taken in many tribesmen along the way, most of them were mortals, while Ma Yuliang might be heavily injured and also crippled, but he was still a Gu master. Ma tribe had been utterly defeated in this battle. Before the battle, they had been a large tribe whose foundations were deep enough to charge to super tribe level. But after the battle, Ma tribe was completely reduced to a small tribe, falling down from the pinnacle of their power. To the current Ma tribe, every Gu master was a very precious strength and hope of the tribe. Lord Young tribe leader, old tribe leader died in the battlefield. Ma Yuliang cried bitterly as he told this grievous news to Ma Ying Jai. Ma Ying Jai's body shook intensely, and despite having already made mental preparations, his heart was still filled with endless sadness and sorrow after hearing this news. He gritted his teeth, his whole body seemingly having turned into an iron statue. After a while of silence, he slowly wiped away his tears and spoke, From today onwards, I am Ma tribe leader. Elder Ma Yuliang, you need to pull yourself together. Our Ma tribe might have lost, but we are not exterminated. Back then, ancestor giant Sun set the rule that Huang Jin family's bloodline could not be exterminated. Ma tribe has already paid a disastrous price for the battle, now even high tribe cannot eradicate us. We will return to Warm Pond Valley and climb up from this loss. I believe our Ma tribe's radiance won't disperse like this. Ma Yuliang dazedly looked at the young tribe leader in front of him, and in his blurred vision, he seemed to be looking at Ma Shang Feng and Ma Zun's silhouettes. He stopped sobbing as hope rose up in his heart again. He then answered with a very deep voice, Lord Tribe Leader, I also believe so. Winner takes all. While Ma Ying Jai was miserably fleeing, it was a scene of celebratory feasts in the many tents of High Tribe's Alliance Army with plentiful food and people crowding around the warm bonfire. We have won, we were victorious. Ma Tribe's ambition was too big, they actually wanted to become a super tribe. This ambition was the cause of their destruction. Congratulations to Lord Hai Lu Lan for becoming the Lord of Imperial Court. Esteemed Lord Wolf King, please allow me to propose a toast to you. The main tent was also a scene of festivity. Besides the fine wine and food, there were also beautiful and passionate Northern Plains women dancing gracefully to their heart's content. The ones present in the main tent were the higher-ups of High Tribe's Alliance Army and were all experts. The cultivations of these people were at least rank four. One could say they were the most radiant heroes of this generation of Northern Plains. Hai Lu Lan was sitting on the main seat, and to the first seat on his left was Fang Yun. 
before because of Tai Bai Yun Sheng's arrival, as well as successive joining of several rank five tribe elders, Fang Yuan's position had been pushed to the back. But after the third battle with Ma tribe, Fang Yuan revealed his rank five peak stage cultivation and with his strength alone, battled the enemy's three enslavement masters and beheaded Cheng Long, Wu Yi and other famous experts. One could say Fang Yuan was at least 70% of the reason Hai tribe could win against Ma tribe decisively. Everyone in Hai tribe was shocked at Wolf King's terrifying battle strength, and that very night, they readjusted the seat rankings in the main tent. No one opposed this. Experts proposed toasts to Fang Yuan one after another. Fang Yuan did not refuse anyone, but only took a sip every time. This was completely not a demeanor of a grand northern plains warrior, but right now, this instead formed an arrogant and aloof aura on Fang Yuan. The main tent was filled with a joyful atmosphere. The Gu master who proposed the toast just before was Soul Blade General Pan Ping. He used his Soul Blade Gu and luckily managed to take Ma tribe leader Ma Shang Feng's head in the battle. Thus, his position was only inferior to Fang Yuan in the battle merit board now, being ranked at second. Seeing Fang Yuan taking a sip in response to his toast, Pan Ping gratefully stepped to the side. Northern Plains natives admire warriors, a terrifying performance like Fang Yuan's was extremely rare even when considering all the imperial court contests. Flying Master and Enslavement Path Master, two master-level halos shone on his body. His Enslavement Path and Strength Path dual cultivation would give an extreme headache to all his enemies. Seeing Pan Ping becoming satisfied and overwhelmed and retreating in deference, the surrounding gazes showed respect, worship, or fear. Fang Yuan calmly placed down the wine cup and sighed inwardly. Unknowingly, I have already reached this stage. Riding on the great wave known as the Imperial Court Contest, Fang Yuan's individual battle strength rapidly inflated. Now he was already at the summit of the mortal world. He had reached the peak of the mortals. Advancing further would be the realm of immortals. In the battle before, he slaughtered famed experts, rampaging all around with no one being able to obstruct him. Very few rank 5 peak stage Gu masters could display such performance. Hai Lu Lan's light was completely seized by Fang Yuan. Despite there being great flaws in cultivating both enslavement and strength path, Despite Forearm Earth King Killer move being newly created and not yet perfected, they were already enough as a cornerstone to allow Fang Yuan to stand proud in the mortal world. In Three Kings Blessed Land, Fang Yuan used the Blessed Land's power to kill Rank 4 and Rank 5 Gu Master experts. And now, he was able to do it with his own strength. Even if Tai Clan's previous clan leader Tai Mu Bai resurrected, Fang Yuan had the confidence of killing him. In a short period of time, Fang Yuan's battle strength had truly increased at a sharply flying speed. This accomplishment that others would find it almost impossible to achieve their whole life was established on 500 years of his former life's experience, who immortal blessed land, painstaking efforts and strategies as a base. But it is still not enough, far from enough. What can being the peak of the mortal world be considered as? As long as one is not a Gu immortal, they will simply be chess pieces. Not mentioning the goal of eternal life, just looking at my current goal, I have yet to save Dang Han Mountain. Fang Yuan's gaze turned solemn as the flames of ambition burned in his heart. He glanced at Tai Bai Yun Sheng who was at the side. To save Dang Hun Mountain, he required Tai Bai Yun Sheng's immortal Gu landscape as before. This was his most important target for this trip to Northern Plains. Even 88 True Yang building was secondary. In his plan, if Dang Hun Mountain could not be saved, then 88 True Yang building's inheritance could only barely fill his losses. However, it was a very troublesome thing to take away others' Gu worms. A Gu Worm's survival could be decided on simply a thought from its master. For example, Fang Yuan only needed a thought, and even his immortal Gu, Spring Autumn Cicada, would easily self destruct. Precisely because of this, when Gu Masters battled to death, 
they would often get next to nothing in terms of goo worms from the corpse. And Tai Bai Yun Sheng's situation was even more troublesome. Immortal goo landscape as before had yet to be born. It was an immortal goo created by Tai Bai Yun Sheng after he became a goo immortal, and by using river as before and mountain as before as the main materials. Hence, there were two courses of actions Fang Yuan could take. First was to capture Tai Bai Yun Sheng and use Soul Path Goo Worms to soul search and plunder the recipe of landscape as before from his mind, then refine it by himself. This plan was too risky. First of all, Fang Yuan might not be able to capture Tai Bai Yun Sheng alive. Capturing alive and killing were two completely different concepts. Especially when Tai Bai Yun Sheng was very powerful and was a Time Path Goo Master. The failure of the plan would have huge consequences. Secondly, even if Fang Yuan was able to capture Tai Bai Yun Sheng alive, does it mean he could get the river as before and mountain as before Gu? In case Tai Bai Yun Sheng made these two Gu self-destruct, all of Fang Yuan's efforts would go to waste. Finally, it was still unknown if the current Tai Bai Yun Sheng had the Gu recipe for landscape as before in his mind. The possibility of a mortal being able to come up with an immortal goo recipe was extremely small, especially when Tai Bai Yun Sheng was not a refinement path master. According to the vague rumors in Fang Yuan's previous life, when Tai Bai Yun Sheng became a goo immortal, heaven and earth reacted, Dao marks attracted each other, and his inspiration exploded, making the two rank 5 goo spontaneously merge together to form rank 6 immortal goo landscape as before. If it really was so, then the goo recipe for landscape as before simply did not exist and its refinement process could not be duplicated. The first course of action could not be adopted, then what about the second? In truth, it was not any better than the first. After Tai Bai Yun Sheng entered Imperial Court Blessed Land, he would advance to goo immortal realm. The second plan was to wait for him to become a goo immortal and possess the immortal goo, then deal with him. The meaning of this was that Fang Yuan as a mortal would be entrapping a goo immortal. Chapter 545, Ma Hong Yun. How big was the possibility of a mortal successfully plotting against a goo immortal? Fang Yuan might be a rank 5 peak stage goo master but it would be almost impossible for him as well to cross the boundaries of immortal and mortal. Fang Yuan was a Gu immortal in his past life, there might be no mortal that had as deep of an understanding of this as him. Fortunately, Fang Yuan's plan was not just himself as a mortal going against a Gu immortal. He would borrow the strength of 88 true young building, the bright guidance from his previous life's rich experience, and also the precious information from Long Yalan spirit. All these allowed his plan to have a higher chance of success. With this, he had a 20% chance of seizing immortal goo landscape as before. 20% probability was already the highest among the three ways to save Dang Hun Mountain. Only an immortal goo could contend against immortal goo gruel mud. Based on his wide vision and experience from his 500 years of experience, Fang Yuan knew of only three immortal goo that could save Dang Hun Mountain. First was the rank 6 Earth Path Turn Rock Goo. This goo was with Western Desert's rank 6 goo immortal sun goo. Second was similarly an earth path rank 6 immortal goo rebuilding Mount Dongshan, which was in Eastern Sea's high she blessed land. Third was time path rank 6 immortal goo landscape as before. This goo had not yet been created and was not a naturally formed goo. Its master Tai Bai Yun Sheng was only a rank 5 goo master currently. To seize turn rock Gu, Fang Yuan would have to deal with Gu Immortal Sun Ku, who had been a Gu Immortal for over a dozen years. And the situation would be even more bad if he wanted to scheme against rebuilding Mount Dongshan. Fang Yuan would be placing himself under the radar of Gu Immortals, and would he be able to exchange for the Immortal Gu as a mortal? This was nothing more than a kid carrying gold and strolling around the black market. Thus, the third plan of Immortal Goo Landscape as before had the lowest risk and the highest probability of success. Even if Tai Bai Yun Sheng would advance into a Goo Immortal, he would only be a greenhorn and would not be familiar with the qualitative change of strength. 
compared to the veteran Sun Ku and that group of Gu immortals in the high she blessed land, this opponent was much more easy to deal with. Northern Plains, December. The blizzard was gradually becoming bigger and appeared more frequently. Even if there was no blizzard, the pure white snow had covered the whole northern plains, and even the blistering hot sunlight became powerless. The time of the ten-year blizzard was already approaching closer. Tian Chuan, Warm Pond Valley. Tribe leader, this is the Spirit Spring Sea. Ma Yuliang worriedly pointed at the dried Spirit Spring and introduced it to Ma Ying Jai. Ma Ying Jai's brows furrowed deeply. This Spirit Spring Sea was one of the only three remaining Spirit Springs of Warm Pond Valley. Now that it was dried up, only Spirit Springs A and B were left to support Ma Tribe. This was disastrous news to Ma Tribe. The Spirit Springs in Northern Plains were different from the Spirit Springs in other regions. Northern Springs had little spring water and narrow spring opening, so they burst out fiercely and had poor foundation so they lasted the shortest time. Eastern springs were plentiful in numbers, southern springs gurgled, northern springs were intense and western springs were pure. A mid-sized clan could last for over ten years in southern border, using one spirit spring. As long as they did not use up the spirit spring excessively, they could continue to use the thin and continuous flow of the spirit spring. But it was different in northern plains. Spirit springs formed quickly in northern plains and quickly finished as well. Add in the intense warfares in northern plains, a mid-sized tribe would require at least three or four spirit springs to sustain themselves. Ma Ying Jai became Ma Tribe's new tribe leader after he returned to the tribe. Ma Tribe had lost at their attempt to charge into super tribe level and was now reduced to a small tribe causing the large warm pond valley to appear spacious and empty. Ma tribe had rations and water sources, moreover had made ample preparations. But a spirit spring was a commodity that was an essential and important resource to a Gu master's cultivation. Once the blizzard arrives, places like warm pond valley would become the final place of refuge. Not only beast groups, other Gu masters would also come to stay. As the owner of the place, Ma Tribe not only had to resist against the blizzard, but had to negotiate with these people as well. The primeval stones from the Spirit Spring were the backbone in supporting a Goo Master's battles. Now, out of the three backbones of Ma Tribe, one was broken. The weak Ma Tribe that was left with 30% of their foundations suddenly had 10% less because of the drying Spirit Spring Sea. However, Ma Ying Jai had no countermeasures to deal with such a problem. If he had a river as before Gu, he could immediately restore Spirit Spring Sea to its original condition, resolving this problem, but he did not have it. Lord Tribe Leader, are Spirit Springs really so important? Fei Kai asked on the way back. After he returned to the tribe, as a benefactor who saved Ma Ying Jai, he was immediately liberated from his slave status and was now a free person. At the same time, he was still Ma Ying Jai's personal attendant. Ma Ying Jai worriedly nodded. A spirit springs drying up has an extremely huge influence towards Gu Masters, and Gu Masters are the pillars of a tribe. Our Ma tribe not only needs Gu Masters as an important strength to resist all kinds of calamities during the blizzard disaster, but also to fight for new resources to develop the tribe after the disaster. Fei Kai exclaimed then asked while walking. Then, can't we find new spirit springs? Our warm pond valley is so large, who is to say that there are only these three spirit springs? Fei Kai's words were filled with his optimistic spirit. Ma Ying Jai gave a bitter laugh. Northern Plains Spirit Springs can indeed form in a short time, there might be a fourth Spirit Spring in Warm Pond Valley, but the probability is close to zero. The thing is every ten years as the blizzard approaches, Spirit Springs in all regions of Northern Plains will continue to become dry and dead. After the blizzard disperses, new Spirit Springs will gush out in large numbers. At that time, all the regions of Northern Plains will have plentiful water vegetation, and you might even find one spirit spring every hundred lie. That is the best time for every tribe and every beast group to grow. It was like that, 
Fei Kai only then realized he had lived for this long and was still ignorant and was not familiar to such situations. Ah! Suddenly, he screamed as he fell down to the side. They were walking a path beside the cliff. Fortunately, it was a gentle slope and not a precipice. Fei Kai had lost his footing and rolled down from the slope, screaming as he fell. This guy, Ma Ying Jai, was amused at the series of hilarious screams from Fei Kai, his tightly knitted brows slightly relaxed. You idiot, you can't even walk now, climb up quickly, hun. Ma Ying Jai suddenly stopped, his eyes opened wide as he looked incredulously at a brand new spirit spring gushing out from the slope. This spirit spring's mouth had been covered by a rock. But this stone was pushed by the rolling Fei Kai, letting the spirit spring that was covered reveal itself. This was clearly a recently formed spirit spring, otherwise Ma tribe would not have missed it during their search before the battle. The volume of the spirit spring was enormous, and in a short few moments of time, over a hundred primeval stones gushed with the spring water and fell on the surrounding ground. This... This is actually a new spirit spring and one that directly surpasses the volume of spirit spring A. Ma Ying Jai was so happy that even his eyes started reddening. Is this the so-called joy after extreme sorrow? This is definitely the blessing of our ancestors in longevity heaven. Tribe tribe leader, I have returned. At this time, Fei Kai came back while limping a little, and as he saw the new spring, his eyes similarly opened wide. Strange, how could there suddenly be a spring here? Ma Ying Jai laughed heartily. Fei Kai, you are the lucky star that heaven sent to me. From today onwards, you should change your name. Fei Kai sounds similar to trash. How could I Ma Ying Jai have trash beside me? From now, you shall be called Hong Yun, Fei Hong Yun. It indicates luck shining on our Ma tribe, joy after extreme sorrow. However, Ma Ying Jai was not happy for long, as seven days later, High Tribe Army arrived and surrounded Warm Pond Valley. The very night the High Tribe Army garrisoned nearby, the three spirit springs of Warm Pond Valley simultaneous turned black, completely polluted. A letter to surrender soon reached Ma Ying Jai's land. Ma Ying Jai had not expected Hai Lu Lan to not let him go even after clearly achieving the final victory. The spirit springs that were contaminated by the use of goo worms could no longer produce primeval stones and were all useless. Although Ma tribe still had stocks of primeval stones, they had already lost the possibility of continuing to stay in Warm Pond Valley. I had not thought Hai Lu Lan would be so hell-bent on attacking. He has requested our Ma tribe to surrender in the letter, which does not violate the rules set by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable back then. Damn it, he is truly hateful. Ma Ying Jai clenched his fists, his heart filled with anger, hatred, helplessness and powerlessness. Hai Lu Lan who is nicknamed Black Tyrant has always been brutal and violent. It seems the battle before created a fear in him towards Ma tribe. But because of ancestor Giant Sun's rules, he wants to put Ma tribe under his sight and continue to oppress us. Ma Yuliang was sitting stiffly on his chair and analyzed this with a heavy voice. After pausing for a while, he continued. Actually, this is also good. We can surrender to Hai Lu Lan, which would mean we can enter Imperial Court Blessed Land as well. Ma Ying Jai shook his head. This is where Hai Lu Lan's sinister intent lies in. It is true Ma tribe will be able to stay in Imperial Court, but what about others? Let me ask you, how many tribesmen do we have left with surname Ma? Ma Yuliang paled as he answered, Only over 130. Precisely so. Ma Ying Jai nodded with a heavy expression. To grow our tribe, we would need to take in outsiders and also wantonly connect with marriage and have large numbers of offspring. But as long as Hai Lu Lan sent a command to forbid our Ma tribe from taking in outsiders and even only allowing us to have inter-tribe marriage, then how long would it take for our Ma tribe to grow? Ma Yuliang's face turned even paler. He realized the seriousness of this problem. Politics was dirty, and not allowing them to marry outsiders could be easily done. 
Hai Lu Lan would only need to use the reason of protecting the purity of Huang Jin family's bloodline and he would be able to justly suppress Ma tribe's development. Then what should we do? Ma Yuliang lost his composure. Ma Ying Jai was silent for a while before resolutely saying, We will bestow surname Ma to the outsiders and take them as our own tribesmen. Lord tribe leader, if we do this, our Ma tribe's Huang Jin bloodline will really be, Ma Yuliang spoke hesitantly. We will have preventive measures. Huang Jin bloodline is our Ma tribe's pride. We can never let it be contaminated. If the situation takes a turn for the better, we can denounce these people and strip away their Ma surname. Ma Yuliang only then felt at ease and nodded, approving this plan. 